One question could change your life. A simple four-word sentence applied any time to improve decisions and outcomes. The question is, what is the payoff? An article written by Christopher Boswell, read by James Bacon. You've got to kick fear to the side because the payoff is huge. Mariska Hargitay. Nearly six decades of perspective. As I look back over my 57-year-old life, one thing is very clear. I've been chasing something. Not fame, really, but maybe fortune, enough income to be self-sufficient and even help others. Also happiness, the absence of guilt and shame or regret. This quest has taken me many places, sometimes making profound discoveries and advancements, and other times, not so much. Often, I have wondered why decision-making classes are not offered in public schools and colleges. While naturally becoming more seasoned over time, I learned that many of my decisions were made in the heat of emotional turmoil. As a result, often they led me further down the rabbit hole and created even more loss and destruction. People enter websites hoping to be led somewhere, hoping for a payoff. From Mahali, I'm going to spell this last name, C-S-I-K-S-Z, E-N-T-M-I-H-A-L-Y-I. <laughs> so much fun. I think that must be a Russian name. Rackets. Then one day, education found me regarding rackets. Racket as a noun. A loud noise or clamor, especially of a disturbing or confusing kind. A din, uproar. The traffic made a terrible racket in the street below, or social excitement, gaiety, or dissipation, or an organized illegal activity such as bootlegging or the extortion of money from legitimate business people by threat or violence, or a dishonest scheme, trick, business activity, etc., the latest weight-reducing racket. Here's the key sentence in that description. A dishonest scheme, trick, business, activity, etc., the latest weight-reducing racket. Most of my challenges have often come out of problems with interpersonal relationships. Being applied to people and to behavior, that may be a little off the mark in describing it. However, most humans and animals take action or activity because it results in some sort of payoff. Therefore, the question spoken of in the opening is, what is the payoff? What is the real purpose behind the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, and Santa Claus? They seem like greater steps toward faith and imagination, each with a payoff, like cognitive training exercises. Chuck Palahniuk. How does knowing this lead to better decisions? In a Behavioral Health Revolution article about what they called a payoff matrix on Hayden Publishing by Susan Gingrich and Kim T. Muser, they write, the payoff matrix involves prompting the participant to identify the advantages and disadvantages of an action or a behavior, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of not performing the action or behavior. Sort of like a pros and cons list, right? Equally compelling is that I can also avoid an activity that might be a good behavioral decision because of some attachment to a loss that I may imagine or fear. The irony is, historically, when I should have seen a warning about damage coming, I still didn't. 
reaping the damaging harvest of seriously poor emotional intelligence over and over. You've got to kick fear to the side because the payoff is huge. Mariska Hargitay Yes, if I stay present, while trying to apply this wisdom to my daily life, I found another question often helps uncover the sometimes hidden payoff or lack of one at all. Does this action further my or another person's mission honoring us both with a win-win? If the answer comes back no, then more serious consideration is required before any action is taken. For the most part, it's been working. I haven't burned anything down to the ground in a while. Thanks for reading or listening. When Christopher isn't writing from home, he can be found traveling or capturing photographs somewhere in the United States or generating graphic design, producing images or video, flying his unmanned aerial vehicle, wrangling dogs, or backpacking and kayaking. He lives in Tacoma, Washington. Christopher Boswell, 2019, All Rights Reserved. Written by Christopher Boswell. Business manager, owner, creator, photographer, writer, risk taker. Arranging text and images for fun. Creativity saved my life. www.realwindowsmedia.com